Hi, child artists. Today, this is Miss Sarah, and uh, we're going to read a book and do a little bit of crafting and artwork. So today's story is The Sandcastle Contest by Robert Munch, illustrated by Robert by Michael Marchenko. Um, keep an eye in the illustrations for the squirrels, because even though they don't feature in the written text, uh, Michael Marchenko has really made them an interesting part of the story. Matthew's father stood in the driveway and said, I think we're all ready to go. Let's make sure everything is here. Do we have the bicycles? Yes. Do we have the food? Yes. Do we have the boat? Yes. Do we have everything? No, yelled Matthew. No, said his dad. No, said Matthew. We don't have a dog. A dog, said his dad. We don't even own a dog. I know, said Matthew, but this wouldn't, wouldn't this be a good time to get a dog? No dog, said his dad. Now, do we have everything? No, said Matthew. We don't have a sandbox. Matthew, said his mom, we cannot bring the sandbox, but the first place we're going to camp is going to have a nice beach, and you'll have lots of sand to play, and play with there. Well, said Matthew, okay, see the squirrels. So they drove and drove and drove and drove and drove until they came to a nice place to camp. Matthew jumped out of the van and ran to the beach. He came to a girl making a small sand castle and a big sand dog. She said, hi, my name's Kalita and I'm gonna win the sand castle contest. Wow, said Matthew, I'm gonna build a sand castle too. What can I win? You can win a bathtub full of ice cream, said Kalita. All right, said Matthew. So Matthew made a house with doors and windows and a road and a roof and he dug out the inside of the house so it had rooms and just like a real house and he made sand tables and sand chairs and sand beds and a TV that had a sand show on it. When Matthew was almost done, Kalita came over to look at his house. She had her sand dog on a leash. Wow, nice sand house, said Kalita. Really, really nice sand dog, said Matthew. A judge came by and he said, Get this house out of here. Who put this house on the beach? That's my sand house, said Matthew. I made it for the sand contest. Ha, said the judge. I know a real house when I see one and there are no real houses allowed on the beach. Then he went inside and sat down in a sand chair and watched a sand show on TV. Another judge came by and said, hey, get this house out of here. Who put this house on the beach? This is my sand house, said Matthew. I made it for the sand contest. Ha, said the judge. I know a real house when I see one and there are no real houses allowed on the beach. So Matthew went outside and kicked the sand house right beside the door. It all turned back into an enormous pile of sand and fell on the judges. Help, help, cried the judges, and everyone came running and dug them out.
When the judges were finally out from under the sand, they yelled, Matthew wins! His sand house was so good, we thought it was a real house! Matthew won! Everyone yelled, and they gave him a bathtub full of ice cream. Matthew started eating the ice cream, and he said to Kalita, Would you like to help me eat this? Yes, said Kalita. While they were eating the ice cream, Matthew said, How come you didn't tell everyone that your dog is, is sand? I bet you could have won with the sand dog. Well, said Kalita, this is Sandy, my sand dog, and I am going to take him camping and feed him ice cream every day. He is going to be my pet, and I am never going to turn him back into sand. Wow, said Matthew. I wish I'd thought of that. Can you show me how to make one? No problem, said Kalita. And Matthew's mom and dad were so happy with Matthew's amazing sand dog. They decided to take it camping. The end. So seeing Matthew make his sand house with a real, with a sand chair and sand bed and sand fridge and sand milk and sand TV made me think about um, my dollhouse and the way I play with some of them. The little pieces of the house, the accessories, they kind of go missing, they break, they get outdated for the dolls and action figures that I have. So I decided that this would be a good time to take some random art supplies and see what we could do with them. So I got together some of things that were kind of in the bottom of my toy box and art box. Some, a rock, some cords, some beads and marbles, a box. And then I thought, what can I make for my house for it? Well, part of it depends on the scale. Like what size fiction dolls or action figures are you using? Are you using Lego things? Do you want the items to be in scale with them? Or are you trying to do like an action movie where they're, tr they're little things and you're trying to make them bigger? So like I have here, um, Shakespeare and Freud. Um, if I'm making things for them that I want to be in scale with them, something like this could be almost the size of a chair for the cork, you know, and this marble could be a, something he's looking into to see if he can understand the brain. So I could paint that pink and make a brain. Um, so if your action figures or your dolls or what you want to make to play with is bigger, um, you can make bigger things. I used some model magic to make this box of Crayola crayons. And I tried to make it look as real as possible without, you know, actually being real. There's no crayons in there. Um, I decided I could take this jewelry box that was left over from the last time I got jewelry and I could cut down a picture. I'm going to cut it down a little bit for smaller. And I could make this into a TV or a computer screen. I could fit it into a computer screen if I, if I taped it like that. And then I could put it right there. That would look like the screen. And I could even have different pictures that change places there. So I could change what I was looking at on my computer or TV screen. That would be kind of cool. Um, so this is a part where you can use whatever art materials you have at home. Leftover stuff from the bottom of your toy box. Like halves of marbles and clothes pins, stuff that's in that drawer in your kitchen sometimes where stuff goes, or any paints or glue or crayons or markers. It's really kind of up to you to figure out what materials you have that you can use to um, make accessories for your imaginative play. See you next time.